Hi, this is Paul Del Rio with Packy. You know, much more goes into building a road than just paving that surface that we drive on. There are long periods of planning and preparation that take place before even a single scoop of soil is moved. And when physical construction begins, there are things that go under the roadway that provide strength, structure, and drainage. Here's how it works. Once the location of the roadway has been established, the first step is to evaluate the topography to determine the quality and strength of the existing material and how much soil will need to be removed or added. Before the construction process begins, the designer will consider potential impacts on the traffic system as well as the environment. This helps determine the best design for that particular location, such as the number of lanes and the path the road takes, as well as the thickness of the pavement itself. Once the engineers and the developer have chosen a design solution, the contractor can begin work. The site will need to be cleared of debris or vegetation. Depending on the topography, there will be a certain amount of both cut and fill on the project, or soil areas that need to be lowered or raised in elevation. The soil must be compacted in order to reach the proper strength to support the weight of the roadway and traffic. A grader machine is used to achieve the final grade, or slope, of the roadway subbase. Underlying electrical and water utilities and drainage are also constructed before the pavement is laid down. Stormwater pipes are installed along the length of the roadway according to the design. These pipes collect water from catch basins placed along the gutter. The storm pipes then feed into a larger system or possibly a detention pond. Roadways without a curb and gutter system may have ditches beside the shoulder, which also assist in transferring storm water. With the utilities installed and the soil at the proper grade, the contractor can begin on the roadway structure. This typically starts with a stone aggregate base. The base may vary in size and thickness depending upon traffic and drainage conditions. Asphalt is then paved onto the aggregate base by a paving train. The pavement can be applied in a number of layers and mixed types. Once the asphalt is compacted and cooled, it's time to paint the lane stripes and install reflectors, roadway signs, and possibly guardrails. After the contractor removes any equipment and cleans the site, the new roadway is opened for business. Proper maintenance of the asphalt pavement and drainage structures following construction ensures a safe and smooth roadway for years to come.